This is a map of the Adirondacks. Here's Mount Marcy, a skylight, haystack. And uh, the reason I chose this area is because it's easier to delineate drainage areas when there's lots of relief in the map. It's hard to do on really flat areas. So when you're just starting out, you should do a few uh, really mountainous areas to help get your feet under yourself. This USGS topo map is just found up here. You go to Add Data. Oops, cancel. Add Base Map. And it's just the USA Topo Maps layer. This is kind of a streaming web service that Esri provides. You select that and it'll it'll pop in here. Okay, next up we're going to create a shape file to put our watershed into. So you'll look for catalog. Uh, for mine it's docked over here but hidden. Find the folder where you want the shape file. For me it's going to be my hydrology folder. Right click, new, shape file. Give it a name say Marcy Watershed. You have to tell it what type of uh, features are going to be stored in it. Watersheds are polygon features. And the coordinate system, uh, click Edit. Um, and I'm going to use a projected coordinate system uh, called UTM. The datum it's based on is North American Datum 1983. And the zone I'm in is called 18N. That's the zone we use here for, uh, for a lot of our GS work at the office. Click OK and OK. It's going to get an error because my base map is not in NAT83 UTM zone 18. Uh, that's OK. I can reproject on the fly. All right, and once it's in there, you'll see it on the, the table of contents, but there's no features in the map yet because we haven't created them to do those. You look for your editor toolbar, click the drop down, and do start editing. And that should pop up a create features window. If you don't see your create features window, I'll go back to the editor drop down, go down to editing windows, and just click this and it'll click back on. If you close your create features by accident, it'll or like remember that for the next session and it won't have it on. So just leave that open or click there. All right, click on the layer that you're going to edit. Okay, and then we're going to be using the polygon tool. So here you need to figure out what your design point will be. And for this exercise, we're just going to use a point on this uh, stream here. It's a tributary to Marcy Brook, I think. Say we'll start right here. Now you want to go up into the watershed going perpendicular to the contour lines. So you don't really need to try and get uh, you know, too detailed on this. Uh, from this point, so you could go up at this angle or try and hit these at this angle. I, I'd say go go like this and just try and go up this mountain perpendicular to the contours all the way to the peak. Okay, and then, you know, I see this gray peak over here. Maybe that's in the watershed. Mount Skylight. I think Mount Skylight is a direct shot up there, but I'm not really sure. And then I see this this kind of funny area in here. There's contours coming up, pointing this way, coming up, pointing the opposite way here. And that means there's a saddle in between these two peaks. So a saddle is going to split the drainage area. I know it's going to come down. Uh, the drainage area boundary is going to come down, hit kind of the middle of this this point, something like this hit the saddle, come back up the other side to the other other peak. All right, and then it's going to come perpendicular down the contours back to my design point. And for arc map, it is double click to end. All right, that creates my kind of drainage area. Remember, if you want to change the symbology, you can do right click on the layer properties, uh, symbology, and change it here, or you can just click on the uh, the icon here. I like to do no fill on these because it makes it easier to see the contours underneath. All right, and then there's my watershed. If I need to edit points, I'll go up to here to the editor toolbar. You, you might have to stretch this out to get these buttons to display. And edit points is this one, edit vertices. Okay, and when you 
uh, are over a point that can be edited, it'll just uh, do a four-way selector. And you can move these out and, and around to uh, wherever you want them. And then for arc map, it is just click outside uh, outside the box to get that to, to end. All right, let's do another one uh, over here. Okay, go back to my polygon tool. Let's do, how about down in this part of the gorge? Start here, then we're going to go up these contours, up either to a ridge or directly to a peak. I think in this case, it's not going to hit the peak. It's just going to go to the ridge. Down to here. And then this is another saddle between these two little peaks. So it's going to hit that. Then I'm going to kind of look up in this area for another saddle, and here's one. So I think it's going to come down more or less perpendicular to these, to the saddle. And then in this area, I have, to, I have to decide if it's going to go all the way up to the, the peak of Mount Marcy, or if it's going to be on this nose type ridge over here. One thing to look for is other sal saddles and other kind of streams uh, adjacent to it. See this this area here shows kind of another stream forming that comes down from the saddle and curls up into uh, John's Brook. So we know some of this watershed is not going to come down to ours. So we'll just start by kind of you know roughing it in. Why don't we go all the way to the top you know just just as a start. And there you kind of have it. There's your, your basic watershed. It is much harder to do on a flat site. So definitely um, practice with a few really steep sites. So if you have ArcMap, I want you to open that up and uh, go ahead and browse to uh, an area that's hilly and delineate a few areas uh, on your own. And that'll give you some practice in how to do it.